Bingo, look how beautiful they look. <laughs> One more jump. Oh, woo. What's up boys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a little surprise vlog. I'm waiting for a part to come in for the car and I ended up making a really good deal with one of my good buddies that I used to go to high school with. And I am buying his wheels off of him. So I am very, very excited to show you guys. When you see them, you're gonna be like, oh, that's interesting. It's, it's cool wheels. It's just first edition wheels. I will be getting different wheels at some point again. Um, definitely like BBSs or HREs or something, but these are great placement holders for any shows that I go to within the next like year or so before I get wheels. And they're absolutely awesome. Plus, the plus side of this too, one of my other buddies wants to buy my stock GTI wheels, the Austin wheels that I have on the car right now. So. After I make this transaction, I'm gonna go put these on and tomorrow I'm gonna be making another transaction. These wheels will not be used for my winter wheels. So I'm very, very excited, super hyped, and I'm almost at his house. I'm gonna get the wheels and bring them home and I'm just so stoked, I'm so excited to see them. I cannot wait to get these on the car. Uh, they're very, very meaty tires, big wheels. So let's hope that they look really good. They look really aggressive on his car. Uh, and he drives a GLI, a newer one, a 2021 or 2022 GLI, and they look aggressive. So I made it back to the house. I got the wheels, very, very excited. They look even meaner in person. And without further ado, boys, let me introduce you to the new wheels on the GTI. So first, let's take a look at the old wheels. Let's take a look at these. Yeah, they don't look good. No, they're all right for stocks, but not great. And here they are. Bam! So we have a set of Audi S5 wheels from 2018 Audi S5, and they are absolutely clean. They're ceramic pro coated. There's no scratches or anything on them. I just have to clean them really good at some point. So I'm going to clean them up tonight. But here's a problem, unfortunately. It's gonna be a two day vlog. One of the tires actually got a leak this morning. The kid I bought him off of was driving down the street and he hit a bump and boom. Uh, one of them is losing air. So I went ahead and started washing them and they wash so effortlessly. They're super clean, super nice. I missed the spot right here. But for the most part, they look so clean. The barrels are nice and clean. Very nice. I can show you a comparison of these three that I did. And the one that I didn't do yet, this is the one I did not do. I'm gonna do that on the vlog right now. But this is the barrel that I didn't clean yet. And those all look perfect. So we're gonna get to cleaning this one and I'll show you guys how effortlessly it is to clean it with just the Chemical Guys brush and the Diablo wheel cleaner. Spray that Diablo cleaner on it. Yeah, boys. And then we'll just give her a little run rundown. You can see all that dirt and grime kind of coming up and it's so much easier than my stock wheels to clean because of the ceramic coating. So it's so much better. And then when I clean the barrel, the difference is even crazier. Here we go in three, two, one, clean. And voila, boys. The last wheel is completely clean. Also, I gotta show you this. He gave me little silver caps that go with it. So they fit right in like that. So you don't have to see the lugs. Pretty cool. So it is now day two. And so the last time I was on the vlog was Tuesday. Tuesday, we picked up the wheels. I showed you the cleaning process of them and everything. Figured out that a tire was punctured. I did post a little reel on that on the Instagram. Obviously, link in the description below to go see our Instagram, follow it. Today, two is actually gonna be short because the tire that I had to order came in later than expected. Ooh, a bunny. 
running across the yard. I ended up ordering a new tire on eBay. The tread was 10 over 32, which is really good tread. Obviously, as we know, the other tire was completely shot. So it came in later. I was able to get an appointment at Monroe near my house. So with that, I went there, got the new tire installed, and now we have it, and here it is, boys. So finally, no puncture tire. It looks great. It looks mean. Um, I actually did not vlog this, but I took the uh, uh, pressure pump, the tire pressure pump, plugged it in and saw how much pressure was in the tire and there was zero PSI in the tire. So the tire was completely shot, completely punctured. It was actually punctured on the side wall right here, like right around like over here and it was completely gone. There was nothing in it. So mm, I ended up finding this one on eBay for 130 bucks. It's slightly used. Other than that, it's practically brand new. It's got 75% tread level left and it looks smooth. Actually, it has better tread level than all the other tires here. So that's always great. But these will be mounted tomorrow morning. So we're currently, it's now Friday. This has been like a four day vlog. I know it's crazy. The part I order for the GTI is actually coming in on Monday. So that will be installed next week. So you guys will see that next week. It took a little bit longer from Euro tuning than it was supposed to. It was supposed to be here this week, but the wheels and tires took a lot longer anyway. So the good thing is we'll be able to get that all set squared away we're gonna have more power in the gti next week and by tomorrow we're gonna have brand new wheels welcome to day three we are finally putting on the wheels today and i actually already have two of them on i'm gonna vlog putting the other two on and i haven't really gotten the first reaction yet i kind of saw as i was putting them on but i didn't really like take a look yet i just want to see what they look like with all four of them all i can say right now is that they're slightly more aggressive than these it's honestly from what i could see it's it's nuts this thing is insane and it's not even lowered yet so we have a floor jack but it's like a cheaper harbor freight one it's nothing crazy so this is the floor jack that we have been using and it doesn't even have you know, like the long stick it has the short one and you have to shorten it you have to tighten it and loosen it from here it's it's been a pain in the butt plus we got the cul-de-sac today so we actually got the uh shaded area because it is deathly hot over 100 degrees today so yeah so we brought the wheels over here the stockies are there and if you take a look at the stockies they are unbelievably dirty so if you want to see the barrel that we have to clean after this is the barrel that's how dirty the barrels are on the stock gti rims and then obviously, if you take a look at the S5 wheels, look how clean that barrel is.
they're done put on look how beautiful they look ultra aggressive this is the look i wanted to go with it looks absolutely stunning we'll do a quick walk around of the car look how absolutely stunning that is damn so you can obviously see we got a little more aggression than what we used to have like especially in the front look look how mean those things are damn yeah your boy's got some slabs of meat on this thing now and i'm super hyped and they look so sleek like i like the hyper silver finish i like that they're not the brushed aluminum anymore like those were with the black i like how they're just one finish take a look at the stance that it gives this thing it is nuts oh yeah boys so mean i'm looking in the sun and you can see how much it kind of can't see it yeah there you go you can see how much came up so now it's straight wow holy cow all the dirt and grime coming off of it so that's gonna need one more time i'm gonna scrub it that's insanity wow that is absolutely nuts so i'm gonna scrub it one more time see what it looks like because you can tell we did get some of it off and not all of it so i want to see if i can get all of it to make it like super shiny clean so this is probably the cleanest i'm gonna get them but they actually look really good not bad i did the best i absolutely could i scrubbed the hell out of it with that brush and i got two of them done obviously as you can tell as it dries there's still a little bit of residue there that i can't get a little bit of brake dust and stuff that's just stuck there it's been there for years but compared those two compared to these two and you can definitely see the difference of how dirty they were before compared to how they are now and boom the wheels are clean they're looking nice the barrels look much better than they did before not perfect but they look so much better than they did so that's all set i'm gonna mount those up there after i gotta clean all this up and now your boys gonna clean the car i got it all ready all we gotta do is juice her up with some water and then we are gucci to go we give her a nice wash down and boom just like that boys the car is cleaned up looks mean super aggressive i just love the way it looks i kind of want to see like a all the way down here kind of look kind of get like you know we usually get that view from my driveway wow so if you're pulling up that looks meaty super mean super rad look how aggressive that is too that's just awesome so obviously you can see it's got a little bit of poke in the front like it's gonna have that unfortunately it just you're gonna have to deal with the poke once i lower it a little bit it might not be as bad might have to roll the fenders actually because this fitment that's going to be tough so i might i might put 235s on these tires just on the fronts when they need new tires and keep 245s on the rear but yeah these are 245 40 by 18 so i might do 235 40 by 18 and then 245 40 by 18 in the rear at some point once these need new tires but we'll see let me drive on the 245s on all fours first See, I like it. Give it a little bit of a trial, but my goodness, that is one hell of a reveal right there. I am dying of sweat, dripping of sweat. I have been out in the sun all day for the last five hours. Oops. And I cannot wait to finish up. Actually, I haven't told you guys yet. We're using a GoPro now for our new camera. At my friend's house, we're celebrating his birthday tonight. So you might have to jump in the pool with the GoPro. I heard it's extremely waterproof and you can do it. We did sell the other camera, the Sony uh, ZV-1 that we had. So we don't, this is the only camera we have. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm really, really considering jumping in the pool with it. I'm obviously deathly sweaty. So we might have to do that. I don't know. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But um, I am just trying to make sure I don't ruin the camera, but everybody says you can do it. I've seen so many YouTube videos of people doing it. So it is a possible thing. So I know you can do it. So I just, I, I'm like hesitant because I, I would never think that you could do that. So might be doing it, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. You what recording you getting thrown? Yeah, what are you talking that's about? It, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right, my back hits again, I swear. Oh my God, I'm ready for this. <laughs> Oh no! Woo! Oh my god! All right, are you jumping? You're not jumping? Jump! 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 The lady! The lady's gonna jump too! On a hot day? Oh my god! 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 Oh my god!
Was this your ball from home? One more jump. Oh, woo! If everybody else is going to do it, then I'm going to do it. Oh, Jesus. Do it. Do it. Jump in. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh boy, there we go, woo! <laughs> With the sunglasses on and everything, huh? <laughs> Too easy. No, no, I'm not gonna let go. <laughs> there you go, kid. How was that? That was awesome. Isn't that cool? You feel weird when you go in with it. You're like, whoa. Holy shit. First time ever like doing awesome. it. Like that was just sick. Come on, Cameron. You gotta do what you gotta do, life. man. Oh, by the way, happy birthday to the boy. Thank 24 you, yesterday. You. We're here. You know, chilling today. How was that? Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh. right. Oh boy. There he goes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. 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 <laughs> Alright boys, we made it back to the house. We had an absolute blast swimming tonight. We were sweaty. I was out all day just doing a whole bunch of stuff with the car and everything and kind of just tired. It was 100 degrees today. It was nuts, but we had a lot of fun with the GoPro in the pool. That was absolutely amazing. I was so nervous. I was like, just, I didn't know what to expect and it was absolutely amazing. I never thought it would be fun jumping into water with a camera, but it is. Um, if you guys don't have a GoPro, you got to get one. Um, it if you're not going to use it for vlogging or anything just use it for content for yourself they have an app called the quick app for gopro and you can just upload your own little media there and just save it to your phone or just keep it on the app it's outstanding i love it and they're actually having a deal right now if you go on gopro.com and you go to the hero 10 creators edition i will put the link in the description below they have a deal for 531 dollars right now for the entire thing with the gopro uh subscription so definitely go check it out we took advantage of that and hopefully you guys take advantage of that if you guys are looking for a gopro but the wheels look amazing everything looks good the new part is coming in i want to tell you guys but you guys are just gonna have to wait we are adding more power so kind of excited for this one actually so we're getting there this video was literally a five day video i is absolutely ridiculous i was not expecting to make five videos i think i've worn like six or seven different t-shirts in this video i i'm gonna have to check when in editing it's the funniest thing but it is what it is but the wheels look great that was part of the build their version one i will get a version two at some point in the near future but right now it's one of those super clean couldn't pass up on the deal my boy that i went to high school with really hooked me up shout out to you my man if you haven't already hit that subscribe button make sure to hit the bell so